Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Zaf Daily brought to you through the internet of South Africa and through the power of YouTube. So what has been happening? Nothing much. Finished Baldur's Gate. Throne of Ball today. Oh, man. That game. That game. At the end of the stream, I'm like, you know what? This is my probably the best storyline in a game. Out of all the storyline games that I played, the first one was Baldur's Gate. Uh, Baldur's Gate 2, of course. The second... What was the second one? I kind of forgot what the second one was. Uh, it was Baldur's Gate. Oh, yeah. It was Baldur's Gate Dishonored. And then um, Mass Effect 2, I guess. So it was Baldur's Gate Dishonored Mass Effect 2. Um, now, I Dishonored the entire game series. Now, the, the thing that I loved about Baldur's Gate is... And this happened in Baldur's Gate 2 uh, Shadows of Arm. Is at the end of Baldur's Gate 2 Shadows of Arm, there's really an emotional moment with your character and the party members. And it actually brought a couple of tears to my eyes, you know. And. With Baldur's Gate 2, with Baldur's Gate, with Baldur's Gate 2, there was an, another moment like that at the end of the game, but not as epic as Baldur's Gate 2 Shadows of Arm. With Throne of Ball, that moment was there, but rather Shadows of Arm was the better um, epic and closeless moment of the game. And what I also loved is at the end, it tells each of your car characters, each of your party members, it finishes off their story. Um, I actually started tearing up at Minsk's story at the end, which was quite cool. And it was amazing. It was just, I wish I could go into detail, but it's literally a case of I need to get my mind or my thoughts in order before I can tell you what I love about the game. And I'll probably tell you within the next week or two. Because there's so much, so many things that happened in Baldur's Gate 2 that so many amazing things happened in Baldur's Gate 2 that I need to make sense of it all. And <laughs> I need to uh, fact check my thoughts and my way of thinking, mainly because I don't want to piss the ba Baldur's Gate uh, fanatics off out there. I don't want to piss them off at all, so <laughs> let me just fact check before I say things that is wrong or whatever. But, like I said, it's an amazing game, and if you haven't played it, you should. If you haven't, if you're into RPGs, and you haven't played Baldur's Gate 2, that's one of the must-play games out there for RPGs. To know where things, have, uh, where things came from, you know, where the original CRPG started. So yeah, just, that's enough gushing about Baldur's Gate. Uh, tomorrow in... To, on Friday, by the time you see this video, I should probably have the news that I can share with you. If not, I'm probably going to share it with you either on Friday or on Saturday's Saf Daily. Um, but Or during my Twitch stream, so you can check my Twitch stream out. So I can't wait for that. I'm waiting in anticipation. I'm actually going to put my phone, uh, put it off of silent mode, just to know what what I, um, if, if they phone me and I find out, then I can tell you, that's, my mind is in, see, my mind is in so many places with regards to Baldur's Gate, so that's what Baldur's Gate does to you, so, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's basically it, a very convoluted, very jarbled mess of messages to you, I'm sorry about this, my mind is still on Baldur's Gate, <laughs> so, let's, Take a break. I'm gonna go to bed now, sleep, and figure stuff out. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, you should have a beardly good one. Oh, and by the way, tomorrow, tonight stream, Friday night stream, there will be beard essence giveaways. So I will see you then. Have a good one until then. <laughs> have a good one.